Hello, this is a middle school math instructional video for the following worksheet. Operations with fractions lesson one, adding and subtracting simple fractions with like denominators. Let's begin. We can only add and subtract fractions that have like denominators. Like denominators are denominators that are exactly the same. Another term we use is common denominators. When we have like denominators, we can simply add or subtract the numerators. So let's take a look at our first example. We have like denominators of eight. We always work down the page. So we put an equal sign right here, put in a fraction bar, and then write in your denominator of eight. Remember, we never add or subtract the denominators. We only add or subtract the numerators. So we have three plus one, which is four, and so that's it, we have our answer, this is the correct value, but all answers when working in fractions must be in lowest terms. So remember we covered this in previous lessons, four over eight in lowest terms is one over two. All right, let's take a look at example number two. We have like denominators, so we're going to work down the page, we put our fraction bar first, write in your denominator of 12, and then just add up your numerators, seven plus 11 is 18. Okay, well again, we have the correct value. This is not in lowest terms. So we're gonna put another equal sign, always line these up to organize your work. And we're going to take this fraction of 18 over 12 and reduce it to lowest terms. So they can both be divided by six, so we get three over two. Good job, we are now in lowest terms, but this is an improper fraction, so we have one more step to go. We are going to convert this to one and one half. All right, in example number three, we have our like denominators, so we can start to work down the page. We're going to put in our denominator of 18. Just a reminder, never add or subtract your denominators. Just your numerators, 17 minus 11 is six. All right, again, and this happens often in fractions, we have the correct value, but it's not lowest terms. Both numerator and denominator can be divided by six, so lowest terms is one third. So let's take a look at what your worksheet looks like and the space that you have to show all of your work. You'll get a number of questions just like this, and in this first lesson, all of the denominators are like denominators. So let's just practice a few more. We have three sevenths plus five sevenths. So we're going to work down, so we put an equal sign, and we write in the denominator of seven, and add three plus five to get eight. All right, not done yet. This is improper. We're going to take one more step and change it to one and one over seven. In example number two, we have a like denominator of nine. So we can start off by writing that in and then let's add up these numerators. Seven plus five is 12. All right, well, we have a couple things going on. One, this is not in lowest terms and two, it's improper. So what we can do here is we can factor a three out. So 12 divided by three is four, and nine divided by three is three. So this fraction in lowest terms is four over three, and as a proper mixed number, that would be one and one third. All right, let's take a look at examples three and four. So now we're doing some subtraction here. We have like denominators, so we write that in first. And then we do our subtraction, numerators only, 11 minus five is six. All right, correct value, but not in lowest terms. So let's take another step here and write one over two. That's our final answer, lowest terms. All right, example number four. Put your equal sign to work down the page right in the denominator of 16. And then we can do our subtraction here. 13 take away nine is four. All right, again, correct value, but not lowest terms. So we put another equal sign, one more step to go. These can both be divided by four. And so we get one over four in lowest terms. All right, now it is your turn. 
you are going to complete the worksheet and if you need help you can watch any parts of the video again and when you are done see your teacher for the answer key. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, contact us at springhouseeducation at outlook.com.